G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, we start on some body work. So I've given the shed a good clean out and um, I'm still waiting for these spring perches. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna start on the body work. I have this rear door that has a good woof in it. If you can see that, she's pretty bent. And the best way to get to that, really, is to remove the door skin. Pretty easy to do. I can repair it up and put it back on. It's rust free, which uh, is pretty awesome as far as rust goes. Surface rust doesn't count. Um, so we'll rip that off and see how we go. So when most people remove the door skin, they're replacing it. And they generally just run a grinder along this edge and um, it cuts it at the door skin. I'm going to save the door skin. So the way I do it, we use my big bertha of a screwdriver here and I just pry it open. So you can see I've done that length there. Um, we'll go all the way around, we'll take it off, we'll repair it and we can just put it back on nice and easy. You know what, sometimes you've got to make a mess to clean up a mess. That's just how it is. Will you just look at this, will ya? Will you just look at this? This is a 90 year old door skin. That's the bottom. There is not a rust hole inside. Look at it. 90 years old. Awesome. Time for some whack whack. Just a few minutes worth, and we've got um, a nice even surface there. A few more minutes and it should be done. So apart from a tack weld here and there, a bit of a file and maybe a bit of a skim and maybe a twist, our door's all back together and uh, we can move on to the next bit. But first, I'm going to have some lunch and I'm going to show you guys how to make Vegemite on toast. So a lot of my subscribers are from abroad, not from Australia and there's a resounding, oh yuck, Vegemite no way, I'd rather eat a bag of dead monkey's testicles. Well, let me show you how to do it. And I'll show you how to do it, and I'll guarantee you, you'll like it. First things first, toast it. <laughs> to your desired darkness. While that's toasting, let me explain something. One thing you have to understand about Vegemite, you've got to treat it like salt, or any other concentrate. The more you add, the stronger it is. So you don't put it on like Nutella or hazelnut spread or whatever you want, chocolate spread. It is not. Treat it like salt. Put it on sparingly and you'll work your way up to acquiring a good taste for it. And in my opinion, you need to have some margarine or butter with it. It's not as good without. It's like having, I guess, coffee without milk. Um, although I'll do like my coffee black, it smooths it out a bit. Toast is ready. Righto, the tricky bit's going to be doing this with one hand. I'm going to butter it first. So, butter as you would butter. As the uh, consistency as you would like. 
doing this one handed. Right, once you get your butter on, you need to leave some margarine on the knife because it is the Australian way. So when you put it in your Vegemite, some of the margarine stays in there. Let me show you what I would recommend a, uh, a good amount of Vegemite would be for someone starting out. So that's just the tip of my knife and um, we'll try and smear this on one handed again. So get it, if you're a first timer or you've tried it before and you haven't liked it, you know what, just smear it, smear it on nice and light like that. I like mine a little bit thicker because I'm used to the stuff. But see that? That's pretty good to start off with. That's what I would probably recommend, nice and thin. Don't put it on like hazelnut spread because it'll kill your face, trust me. That's more of the consistency how I'd have it. But start off light and go from there. Now, very important, once you have some Vegemite on your knife, you put it back in the butter. So you get some Vegemite in the butter. That's the Australian way. If you do it like that, first time, nice and thin, hot toast, bit of margarine, don't go too crazy with it, I guarantee you, you will enjoy it and you'll get a taste for it and you'll be able to put more on. Treat it like salt. Don't put too much because it spoils it. You know, there really isn't a whole lot of body work to do on this, just a lot of um, prepping. Um, I'm not going to make it perfect because it's not what I'm looking for, as you would have worked out by now. And if you've watched my channel long enough, you'd know that. I just want to give it a paint job that looks six or seven years old. And um, with a little bit of wear, a little bit of the red oxide primer showing through here and there. And um, it's going to be sign written, some race numbers and other bits and pieces. What I do have to replace is this firewall. I've got one lined up. Um, so that's going to come out and then the other one go in. So that's been cut up obviously. Um, that might go in the other cow for the V8, but we'll see how we go when we get to that car. But yeah, so there's not a lot to do. I'm sort of, I've got a lot to do, but there's not a lot to do if you know what I mean. Let's get this radiator ready for the radiator guy. Well, there's the last few front end parts finished. And I'm kind of at a loss of what to do now because I need a big disc sander to sand the panels, which I don't have. I need to buy some metal which I can make my subframe. I need my front perches, which I don't have, so I can put my front end together. I need my firewall, so I can replace that, which I don't have. Um, I am really starting to run out of things to do. I need to get some material to make some manifolds. Hmm. I can have another crack at this thing. I hate doing it, but unfortunately I had to sacrifice that little guy. I hate doing that. But man, that is in so hard, and the other side's flared over that bad, it's ruined anyway. So I've got to drive it out that way. Um, I'll use a drift, big hammer and some heat. A little bit of brute force later and out she pops. Man, that was in there good. Now I can clean that wishbone up, have it ready to paint. And that is the last of my front end component tree. Zints. Things. Bam! Well, that's kind of it at the moment. I need to get some bits. Everything's ready to roll. Um, I'm just getting held up now, so I'm going to leave it at that, and I'll see you on the next one. I kind of feel a little bit sad. Anyway, stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, and um, yeah, stay cool. See ya.